back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, and rabbits, and welcome your beautiful faces to a brand new video. This is a spot of charity shop, and this is in fact a charity shop championship entry of Spalding. Yes, we are back where it all began. Can Spalding take the top spot? You'll have to find out today. I'm gonna to bring your beautiful faces along with me without, throughout the charity shops. But first, we're gonna spin the wheel uh, twice to see who's won the 6,000 subscriber giveaway. So let's transition over to the computer and see who has won the Amazon gift voucher. So this is for you guys who have commented on my last video. There's gonna be two winners, two 25 pound Amazon gift vouchers coming your way. We had 82 entries and the first one is going to Caroline. Hiya, I have recently discovered your channel. Great video, very informative and some really, really great sales. Keep up the fab work. So Caroline, make sure you message me on Instagram and we can sort out your 25 pound gift voucher we're now going to draw the second winner and the second winner is i'm not gonna lie mate but i don't really know how to pronounce your name but you have won well done to the 6,000 subs been following you since pretty much the beginning uh, also reach out to me on instagram or message me on youtube and we'll sort you out with a 25 pound gift voucher for amazon so thank you very much everyone for participating enjoy the rest of the video right, first shop the butterfly hospice straight to the clothes doesn't look too uh too pleasing to be honest it seems to be full of blue harbor and George. So yeah, not looking too good. Walking away, we have a beautiful wall, long trench. Uh, Laura Ashley thingy and it's half price, seven pound and fifty P. I think that's a boomer. So we're gonna have to pick this up. To be my favorite charity shop since. The reason why I love this charity shop so much it's just the variety of stuff that you could potentially just fall on. It's, it's absolutely brilliant, like, love it. But obviously, we're going to the trainers and shoes first. Nope. Mm, nope. Nope. It's not looking too good, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the clothes is a bit dry, I'm not gonna lie. Proper struggling. Spalding used to be, used to be the one. Well, I said it was my favourite, but I think we're going to come out of the shop empty-handed. <laughs> Sad times. Stop. Cancer research. Oh, boy. £19.50. Wowzers. A pair of Barkers. £15. This shop's got well expensive. I've not been to Spold and Jarrett shopping for like a year. Bye. This is quite cool. I know it's only St. Michael's, but it's got like a tag embroidered pocket. And it's probably the cheapest thing I've found in the shop today. It's quite cool, that. I'm tempted to get that. Worst comes to the worst, it's my size anyway. Oh, Nike Focus Fly Knits. £38.50. Wow. I was leaving, we found a back stretcher massager thing. £4.50. Yes, please. Next stop, St. Barnabas. Again, it's very, very quiet. There's not a lot going on at all. Hmm. We could potentially have a new bottom of the list in the championship. Even the shoes are a bit... <laughs> I mean... What? What's happened? Uh, right, I think we're going to take a punt on this. It's four quid, but... I think we might be able to get a chunk of change. I think it's brand new as well. Uh, but yeah, a bit more on that when we get home. The penultimate shop, British Art. Just a top tip, guys, if you do find any Jack Wheels decorative plates and bowls with the matching bowls, they're worth really, really good money. But unfortunately, no bowls. Now this is the penultimate one. Sue Ryder, I forgot there was another one. So uh, hopefully we can find some bits because yeah, it's been a bit of a quiet. Wow. There is not a lot in the men's section. What's, what's happened to Spold and Charity Shops? They used to come here all the time, they used to be booming. Well, I think we might have found something. It's a bit unusual. 
some sort of like medical boot thing. However, go on eBay for a lot of money. Looking like triple figures, so they want 10. I'm just gonna open it up and see if it's new. Last shop, closed. Definitely uh, quality over quantity today. Right, gonna get home. I'm gonna show you exactly what I picked up. We spent very, very minimal, but we got some nice, uh, yeah, nice, nice stuff. Well, I think it's nice, not not too sure. I need to do a little bit of research and then we'll film the haul and uh, see where it places in the charity shop championship. It's not looking too good because, yeah, we didn't pick up. Right, we've now made it back home. We are currently at my parents' house. So uh, yeah, excuse the different uh, interior design. Very nice indeed. Um, but yeah, slim pickings today in Spalding, which is very, very unusual considering this is the place that I used to live for a very, very long time. I used to really, really, really well. However, times seem to have changed. It's got very expensive. However, we did get a few bits. Uh, obviously, this is a championship video and I think it's probably going to be finishing bottom. However, we only did actually spend £29 and 50 pence on everything that you are going to see today so i have a running total either in the bottom left or the bottom right depending on how i feel during the edit so uh, yeah so let's see what we have found yeah a very very modest small haul but plenty of profit to be made we're going to start off with the saint michael's marks and sparks uh pullover jumper i only paid four power from cancer research uh, very nice size, my size, so if it's not worth too much, I will probably keep it. But it has got a nice embroidered Tasmanian devil on the heart of the chair. Well, right there. So yeah, it's really nice, it's a really nice deep red. Should be, I should be able to get at least 20 quid plus postage for that. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, very nice indeed. One of my favourite items of the day was this Laura Ashley, vintage Laura Ashley, and I can tell that by this logo here this is a nice vintage laura ashley label um it's a very long wool trench coat absolutely stunning condition uh should be able to get at least 50 quid in the winter um i think i am just going to put it in the loft and wait for it in the winter it's an absolutely beautiful gray mild colorway uh, i think it's 68 percent wool and something like 32 percent um acrylic i think that was the uh what i saw in the label but really nice condition and at least 50 quid back in the kitty i do apologize if you can hear some sniffling in the background i think hay fever season is upon us and uh i am one of them sufferers that suffers quite bad with hay fever probably one of the most unusual pickups that i've ever done is this matthew henry's commentary on the whole bible so this is a six volume set and i think he just talks about the bible well talks you through the bible i think it's brand new and sealed i think that's the original seal only paid a whopping four pound which is ridiculous believe it or not guys i should be able to get about 80 quid for this there's one or two up for 99 there's one that sold for bids for 64 so i think my 80 pound I think, we're, I think we should be okay. So four into 80, yes please. Yeah, I don't tend to pick up that many books, but uh, when I do, they're worth good money. But uh, that sort of stuff is always worth good stuff. Bibles, all of that good stuff is worth, yeah, it's worth some money. Talk about things that are worth money. We have a back stretcher, a back massager, a wooden one. And it's actually 12 length. So uh, what I mean by that is it's got 12 of these. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The more of the levels it has, the more value you can achieve. That being said, I think this is probably worth about 60 quid. And again, I only paid £4 and 50p from Cancer Research. But it's an absolute boomer. Yeah, again, if you ever do see any of them back structures or back massages, uh, the more levels it has the better uh, chance you're going to get better money. So yeah, that's sort of just like the rule of thumb when it comes to uh, back massages. And again, something very unusual for rummage around. We have picked up this Caraped Planter Ulcer Therapeutic Shoe System. Um, if you got these brand new, you're looking at over 100 quid. This is actually used, but smells brand new. Yeah, don't ask me why I have smelt the boot, 
but when you open the box, it has that really fresh smell. Uh, I'm obviously going to sell it as used. Um, it's a UK size three to five and a half, so a women's size. And you know, women obviously need these if if they break their ankle or hurt their ankle in a, a tremendous fashion. Uh, so yeah, I don't think the size is going to affect it too much. But like I said, if you were to find these brand new, you're probably looking at a hundred pound plus. But for the sake of it, because it is pre-owned, probably looking at about forty-five. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and rabbits. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy that video, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Ding dong that bell so you get notified when I do upload next. But yes, I think Spalding Charity Shop is going to be bottom of the championship. Anyway, guys, I'll see you beautiful lot in the next one. Bish, bash.